How's it going, everyone? So it's the Elder Millennial. I just assumed that everyone cut the cord and went to streaming services. So it's surprising to me. I just went on a run today out in my neighborhood, and there was a Cox, um, like a Cox Sprinter van setting up someone with Cox. And I see satellite dishes on all these houses. So that tells me that people are still watching satellite. So I really am curious, what is the ratio? How many people cut the cord versus how many people still have cable or satellite television? And maybe is the, the demographic or place where you live does that have anything to do with it? So that's also one of the questions in my survey, but I really want to know where we stand now. And I want to almost predict where we're going to be in the future when it comes to television content. So one of my questions is how much would you feel comfortable paying each month for television? And of course you have options zero, 25 to fewer, 25 to 50, 50 to 75, 75 to hundred or cost is no issue. Now the thought process behind this question is is more than just gathering the data. I almost think that cable may have set the bar. So let's say cable is like 75 bucks a month. What if cable set the bar at 75 bucks, but people cut the cord and people go to streaming services, but then people will have to get multiple streaming services to get more content. So people might continue to pile up streaming services as long as it's under that $75 bar. That's where I'm guessing we might be, but I won't know until I get this data. And then of course, I'd have to find out the average price for cable to kind of see if things fall in line there. And I can maybe make some hypothesis off that data. And next is kind of predicting the future. One thing that we know about television is that it's always going to find a way to meet the consumer's needs. So we wanted more channels. We got tons of channels. We can't stand commercials. Now we have DVR to where we can record shows and watch it later and skip past commercials. So television always finds a way to meet our needs. And to know where we're going to be in the future, we have to know what people want. And so that's my next question. Please explain what changes you want to see to improve your television viewing experience in the future. So this is almost like if you can change anything now to make TV better, what would it be? And if we can get people to like write out a few sentences about that, we can almost take the similarities between all those answers and group it together. And that would probably be what people kind of want as a majority. And I think we would see either television or cable satellite or streaming platforms kind of move in that direction. So this can be anywhere from cost, from maybe combining platforms, just so many different ways that people can go with this. So maybe it's too broad. Maybe you guys can help me trim that question down or structure that a little better, but so that, that's kind of my goal of my survey and the questions I'll just recap for you. The How much would you feel comfortable paying each month for television? And the second question is please explain what changes you want to see to improve your television viewing experience in the future. And if I'm missing any questions that can help me get the data that you guys know I'm looking for to see which way people learn in their uh, lean and their television viewing platforms, just help me out with that too because I think I only have 10 questions and so we can have 15. So I appreciate all the help. Thank you.